guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. Today, I'm at Or Kia right here in Bossier City, Louisiana, and this is the 2020 Kia Telluride. Of the multiple trim levels available, this is the S trim level, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. And more importantly, I'm gonna tell you why the all new Kia Telluride ranks number one in the midsize SUV category. One of the primary reasons why the Kia Telluride is ranked number one in the midsize SUV category is based on the fact that it is predicted to be one of the most reliable midsize SUVs that you can purchase today. It does come with a rather lengthy warranty in the event that you have any problems but the chances of that are supposedly very low compared to other SUVs in this particular class. As far as mechanical specifications go on the Telluride, it's a 3.8 liter V6 that sits under the hood that's mated to an eight speed automatic transmission. The engine makes 291 horsepower and 262 foot pounds of torque. The Telluride is capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds, not too terribly bad. It's available in front wheel drive or all wheel drive depending on what you may desire. When you open the rear lift gate of the Telluride, you will discover there is storage underneath the floor. There is also the ability to lower not only the rear seats, but the middle row seats as well to greatly increase your cargo space if you so desire to do so. You can lower the rear seats via the straps on the back of the seats by simply pulling on the strap and nudging the seats forward a little bit to get them to lay flat. You can use the buttons on the left hand side of the rear of the interior to lower the middle row seats that are also reclinable seats as well. That way your middle seat passengers can lay back and take a little nap, be a little more comfortable, whatever they wish to do by reclining those seats. You can also move the middle row seats forward to make getting in and out of the rear seats a much easier task. The middle row seats recline forward and slide forward for making easy access to the rear seats in the Telluride. There is not only a button on the side of the middle row seats to move them forward, but also on the top of the middle row seats that can be easily accessed by rear seat passengers. Okay guys, we're heading out here on the road with the Telluride and it has multiple driving modes. I'll list those on the screen for you and show you where the selector is to change modes if you so desire to do so. But I have it in sport mode right now and trying to take advantage of the 291 horsepower that the Telluride has to offer and I must say the acceleration is surprisingly good for a mid-size SUV and it's actually very smooth in its acceleration so I'm gonna get into it just a little bit here very very nice ride as well again that's one of the one of the main points of this SUV being class leading in the mid-size SUV class is that the ride is good now I will say this while the tell you ride is off-road capable, it's not quite as agile and off-road worthy necessarily as say the Jeep Grand Cherokee or the Toyota 4Runner that it competes against. But I don't think that's an issue necessarily because I don't think a lot of people are going to buy the Telluride with the intention of taking it into an aggressive off-roading situation. But if you live in a position where you have some hills and different things like that, kind of a rough terrain to say get to your home in the mountains or something like that. The all-wheel drive Telluride would serve you very well with the 291 horsepower and 262 foot-pounds of torque. But like I say, the ride is really impressive actually. I've driven other SUVs similar to the Telluride and they definitely have a little bit more of a rigid ride than what I've experienced here. And even though you may not be able to tell, here in Louisiana, these roads will definitely test your shocks and let you know what kind of a ride you have with what you are driving. So what about some of the creature comforts of the Telluride? Well, there's actually quite a bit here. 
besides being very comfortable, you do have heated front seats for the driver and passenger. You have a power seat for the driver, a manually adjustable seat for the passenger, a nice comfortable leather wrapped steering wheel with steering wheel controls mounted on the steering wheel for everything that you might want to manage. Of course, the infotainment system includes Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, you have a slew of safety features, and I'm not going to even try and go through everything. I'll just list that on the screen so I don't miss anything, but there is a lot here that's going to help you to stay safe when you're out on the road in the Telluride and just make it more enjoyable to drive. A lot of things you won't necessarily have to focus on. You can focus on just strictly driving the way that you should be able to. And that's the whole point of our modern day technology in vehicles such as the Telluride. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with what Kia has done here with the Telluride. And one thing I forgot to mention, there is a moonroof that is available. And so if that's something you're interested in having, you can have that here in the Telluride as well. And that will bring to a close my time with the 2020 Kia Telluride here at Or Kia in Bossier City, Louisiana. I'd like to thank my friend Dakira for giving me the keys to this and letting me borrow it for the last couple of hours. And I would like to thank all of you for taking the time to watch. If you haven't subscribed to Vehicle Visionary just yet, please be sure to lightly tap that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Have a great day, guys.